Hey guys, George Lee over here and welcome to another episode of the unboxing series. I actually recorded two more before this back to back, so this is my third one in a row and probably the last one for tonight. Everything I've recorded today has to do with upgrading my stream setup and it's no surprise that I finally got around to a pair of headphones that I was willing to go ahead and take the leap on. Now, there are a lot that are recommended to most people and they're all recommended for different reasons and although I don't I'm going to be real with you. I don't find much info out there on how great these are for games. I figured I'd be the one to test it. I'm going to be using this for gaming. And I'm going to figure out if this is something that will actually be, I don't know, just like useful. Like just good in general for gaming. I want to know if it's going to be, allow me to hear things like footsteps and or if you know if I play Dead by Daylight, that totem sound and stuff of that nature. So I'm really excited. So these are the Hi-Fi Man HE560s. When these first came out, this is also the Outer Rama exclusive version. I don't know what's so exclusive about it, but when these first came out a couple years ago, this was actually a $900 headset. Yes, this is this this at launch was a $900 headset, which has since been replaced with a newer model. So these have been going down in price over time. And I guess I've always been interested in finding out what a $900 headset sounds like. And that's one of the reasons why I went into here. I used to work for a company back in the day and something that they had a lot of were different options of headphones. And some of the more, <sighs> some of the least economical ones were actually these. They were from a Hi-Fi Man and I always wanted to try them out. So I'm pretty excited. Now, I've read a little bit about it. From what I understand, build quality is not the best. But if you're buying this, it's because you're not particularly interested in build quality. And I'm not gonna say I'm not interested in build quality when I, I am interested in the other aspect of it is what they say is that this is probably some of the best sounding headphones you will ever experience. And although these are traditionally used for music and stuff of that nature, I'm going to try them for gaming. Now, I'm gonna first start powering them because you do need something, an amp, to power these because they're, like others, like the, I think the DT990s or stuff like that, they require an amp in order to perform at their best or better than out of the box, but they can perform out of the box. They're just not gonna be very loud, so you, you'll you need something to drive them through. Up until now, I've been using these, which were, again, it's a compromise purchase that I made back in the day these Sennheisers over here. They're the Sennheisers 559s. They're kind of like the the forgotten little brother or little cousin of the more popular ones that everybody sees. People like, let's say, Markiplier and other streamers and YouTubers and stuff use. That's kind of like the, I don't want to say baby version, but it's kind of like the baby version of it. It has a lot of similarities to the one that's more popular but it also is missing out on some of the stuff. And to be real, without my mix amp, because I have an Astro mix amp and I don't even have the most recent one, I have the older one. So I might actually upgrade that soon. Now thinking about it, actually I said that like two videos ago or a video ago as well. So I, I sense an upcoming purchase coming in, unless there's something I feel that might work better. Anywho, that does sound better on a mix amp. Like when I try to run it without a mix amp, it just doesn't sound as good. You Headphones like these, these audiophile type headphones require something to power it. And an audio interface isn't necessarily enough. An audio interface might help a little bit, maybe clear up the signal somewhat, but that's a preamp. It's not an amplifier. It's not a mix amp. It's you need something to actually add more juice into your headphones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these if it allows me to my mix amp and then if necessary, my mix amp to my audio interface. But that's only if I'm going to be doing certain things like audio monitoring and stuff like that where I'm gonna hear myself as I speak into the microphone, which I've actually talked about before in the audio mixer video unboxing that I'll be posting soon that I've already recorded earlier today. I, I don't think I'm gonna do that. It's just not my style. But you know, I might try it one day. Anywho, let's go ahead and open this up. We've already spent a couple minutes talking about my plans and my thoughts and my concerns. There's not really much to the box, to be honest, you know, for a $900 pair of headphones, it's, 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 it's an okay box. I felt similarly to a lot of the boxes I've opened today. I still, I know exactly what's the, what are the items that I've opened up on this channel 
that I think had the best unboxing experiences. And if you're curious about that, leave a comment below and tell me, George, can you make a video on your favorite unboxing experiences ever? And I'm more than happy to do that. And I can talk to them to somewhat. Most of them I do not have recorded, but some I do actually. So we're gonna go ahead and open it with my trusty knife that you've probably seen a lot on my videos or even on my crafting streams. I've had this knife forever. It has a little bit of a story to it. All right, let's open up. Okay, okay, okay. So that's for the owner's manual. So we're gonna pop that there. We're gonna leave this, let me move my, I mean, be careful because I've been like fumbling today on my recordings. I'm a little off it. I've been doing, oh, wow. Guys, look at that. Wow, okay. Oh, it's not even plastic under that. It's like a foam. Interesting. Wow, that feels good. I'm gonna try to avoid touching these. This is a beautiful color, by the way. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like almost bluish to me. Let me know if you guys feel differently. I am colorblind, so <laughs> I feel like it's one of those things where it's so black it's blue. It's like a gunmetal blue. I don't know what to call it. I'm gonna add this to my collection that I've gotten today. Here's the cable. I do have an adapter for this, so I'm not too stressed, and I actually am pretty sure it comes with its own adapter. Now, curiously, these headphones are a little different, and one thing you're going to notice is that it comes with a left and right input like an actual input, output, whatever. You're gonna connect these into each of the cans. Unlike most headphones, I think most of you have probably have never experienced this, and this is actually gonna be my first time experiencing it. So you, you do have your 3.5 millimeters and then you have your 6.5 millimeter. I'm pretty sure it's a 6.5 millimeter. I do have an adapter that's going to help me. And actually it might even come with an adapter. And it does look like these connections are better than the ones that came with my Sennheisers. In fact, I almost kind of want to check it out to show you what. Okay, there we go. Because I, I might as well unplug it. So I, I want to see. Please don't fall. Okay. All right. So here is. I haven't looked this, at this for a while. So this I wanted to see if there's like anything different. Doesn't look like it's too different. I do see some minor differences. This is again the one that comes with my Sennheiser. I don't see a massive amount of difference so that's just something to note but I wanted to check it out. So I'm gonna put that back. Oh man I'm probably gonna regret having to deal with the cable later but here I am this is where I'm at right now. This is where the cables are. I'm just gonna deal with it. Give me a sec. There you go. Okay. Anywho. <clears throat> Sorry. Here's the cable. I wanted to compare it because I really haven't looked at my Sennheiser cables. Oh, dude, it's like deep in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll pull it from the cans? I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid to pull it out. Okay, this is, probably doesn't seem like the way, but I'm going to try it this way. Dude, what is this? This is crazy. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say, this is heavier than what I'm used to. Oh, there we go. Glorious light. Look at that. So if you know anything about headphones, which I know a little bit about, believe it or not, I may not be an expert, I'd say, but I'm not inexperienced either. And I've done a lot of research over the years, let's say the last decade, roughly. Actually, literally the last decade. These are open back headphones. A lot of people usually are used to closed back headphones. And the reason with that, I'm not actually sure why. Maybe it's because, okay, no, I know why. It isolates the sound better. So you're, you're not gonna have any sound bleed, meaning you're not gonna lose some of the sound out into the universe, into the world, into your atmosphere around you. It, people won't be hearing it as well. And it'll also isolate you from your environment when you're, let's say, listening to music or gaming. So like most gaming headphones are closed back. Almost all of them are. But if you notice a lot of streamers and YouTubers and podcasters and even like professional gamers use open back headphones and there's a reason for that is because they have a tendency to produce a more natural sound stage which allows you to get kind of like an edge on your competition which is why I use open back headphones when I can and that gives you the ability to hear things like footsteps. So 
if you're running around and you hear footsteps, you can turn around before you get stabbed in the back or shot in the back or something like that. Or if you're playing Dead by Daylight, you can hear the totems more accurately and their location roughly. And Dead by Daylight's a very sound-oriented game. A lot of people... Your success in Dead by Daylight could also or extremely be determined on your ability to pay attention for sound cues. Sound cues are so huge on Dead by Daylight. It's insane how important it is. And to me, it's, it's crazy to me how many people play the game borderline almost religiously and don't pick up on the sound cues. The sound cues are so important. This feels real nice, man. Oh, dude, this it is heavier than anything I'm used to, so it'd probably be heavier than what most people are used to. Does it turn or is it one of those that turn? I'm, I'm like afraid to flex it or anything like that. It doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't seem to turn. Okay, cool. So uh, that's the left. Let's let's see what it feels like. Uh, I am going to have to lower it a little bit. Uh, again, I'm afraid. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, dude. Okay. It, it sound the world sounds interesting for sure, and I can hear my voice, which is great. You know, now thinking about it, I have a built-in audio monitoring since I use open back headphones. At least I have been for the last couple months. But it's not that I haven't used closed back. And again, if you just want to like isolate yourself from the world around you, you probably want closed back headphones, and those are better for surround sound too. But if you kind of want a more natural sound stage consistently or consistently a more natural sound stage, the ability to hear footsteps or audio cues in games. That said, the world around me is diminished. I can hear the difference of me in here and me out there. As strange as that sounds, like I can actually hear it. Like I am in a world inside my headphones, but I can still hear the world outside me. I, I almost kind of want to test it out. I, I kind of, What would be an unboxing without testing it out? Guys, let's just test it out. I want to hear, in fact, I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to spend the remainder of this unboxing video doing a quick test on the sounds. So first things first, actually, I should check to see if there is some kind of a, uh, can I put this here? Would I regret that so far? No, I want, oh, okay. Let me see, if I take this out, is there anything in here? No. There isn't? There doesn't seem to be anything in there, okay. So I think that's it for cables. In other words, if you want to connect it to a 3.5 millimeter, you're probably gonna want to get an adapter if you don't already have, <clears throat> sorry about that. If you don't already have one. Thankfully I do have this one, so we're gonna be using that one. I think that came with my Sennheiser too. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is gonna start sounding a little weird. I've been talking nonstop for the last hour, roughly. Okay, so we're going to connect that. Oh, wait, 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 I'm so dumb. I think, I think I'm just dumb. Look, 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 I think, I think, I think. I could be wrong. I might regret this. I might have ruined my, 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 my headphones. Ah, <laughs> ah, I barely saw that it was loose, dude. Oh, look at that. So it already comes with the adapter, which is great because it feels like that's what a lot of these type of headphones do. So I can put this back and it is in fact my Sennheiser one. So this came with my Sennheisers. Yeah, so it's already installed. Normally they come separately, I think, I don't know. But yeah, look at that. So you, you just, yeah, this is great. So like, I don't even, oh man, that's amazing. The adapter is in reverse, which is really, really neat. And is extremely friendly for most users. Also, the cable's not very long, which I really like. My Sennheisers have a ridiculously long cable and I actually just do not like that whatsoever. It really bothers me. And on top of which, if that wasn't enough, because these cables come in an L shape, they fit my mix amp better so they don't make contact with the table and there I don't get like static or anything like that. Um, because unfortunately since this is an older mix amp, where you connect the cable could get stuck and it could ruin stuff. And that, that mix amp has fallen before, so this cable is already 100% better 
than what came with the Sennheiser. For one, it's completely detachable. That's huge to me because the my Sennheisers, again, these are the affordable ones. These are genuinely the budget ones. I got them for like 80 or maybe $90 back then. This is non-detachable. And it's an extremely long cable. So I'm, I can actually like pull it out. But look look at all this cable that I've been stepping over. Sorry about my armpit. But look at all this cable I've been stepping over, guys. Look at this. This 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 is I've been stepping over this over and over and over and over again, having nowhere to put it. And oh man, I'm really excited about this. Again, I, I chose that option because it was those headphones or like the, the older brothers, bigger cousins, whatever are easily the most recommended, especially back then. Now, like a lot of people still focus on gaming headsets because there's so many options. There's like a huge variety of it and most people aren't streaming or anything. Despite how many streamers and YouTubers are in the world, most people aren't really doing it. I'm actually really excited about this. So the cable fits, I, I wish I could show you, but the cable fits my mix amp so much better because one, I don't need an adapter like I did before where, let me show it to you. But I, okay, I don't need this giant long adapter, which is gonna make it awkward. I had to like raise my mix amp so that it wouldn't make contact with the, the, the desk. That by itself is huge. The, the adapter is the long piece, which I have right over here and I don't wanna lose it, but it's, it is the long piece, which is amazing to me. I find it incredibly neat that it isolates both cans, unlike that other one. It's again, detachable, which is amazing to me. Now, the moment of truth. I'm sorry, I just like really nerded out there a moment ago because I, I, that was stuff I was dealing with and I wasn't very happy about, but I was putting up with up until now. So we're gonna put the left with the left. Okay. We're gonna put the right with the right. <sighs> satisfying clicks. That's another thing, those are really satisfying clicks. Okay, we're gonna pop this over here. You're gonna see also, if you haven't noticed, the cable is threaded, which is really neat, unlike that other regular cable that I had there going on with the Sennheiser. Okay, let's uh, let's let's test it out. Theoretically, it's already on and being powered. I'm gonna go ahead and load Dead by Daylight because that seems like the right play. And then we'll just wrap up the video on that one. So this one actually went on a little longer only because we're genuinely doing a quick test. I'm so excited for this. I, I really hope this works out. Again, I don't know how well it's gonna perform in gaming. I can tell you for some people, your ears may be comfortable in this, for some might not. It might feel a little weird because these are like circular cans I'm noticing versus the oval cans of the Sennheisers. So it's easier to fit my ear. Okay, I can definitely hear it. Okay, so a key difference between this one and my Sennheisers is that right now with this mix amp, I do need to raise the volume settings. It is way louder on those. So what I'm noticing is that my mix amp is still not strong enough to power these headphones. Yeah, like the volume is really low. I mean, it sounds great so far. So I'm gonna have to do that as long as I'm using this. But even then, it's not very loud. And I, I feel like I have... Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to raise the volume. So what I'm noticing here, which is the only thing I was genuinely worried about with this headphones, is that I might not be able to properly power it. Let me hear the music. I don't have the music. Yeah, it's nowhere near as loud. Okay, so first impressions, this sounds amazing, but it's not very loud. 
meaning I'm going to need something better to power it. Because right now, as it stands, it's not incredibly loud. Now, it's entirely possible that I need to just redo all of my settings. So there's... Yeah, I just might need to redo all of my settings. Let me do that. Let me play it again. It also means for the stream I'm going to have to redo the settings as well, which is a shame. But hey, you know what? This is just the way it is sometimes. Okay. Let me see. I, I wonder. So I'm going to have to look up online and see what I can do to power these a little bit more so that they that it's louder. The other thing we're going to test is quickly Spotify. I'm just going to put the uh, a song. I don't think you can even hear it, but... It does sound a little bit louder, so I had to raise the system volume. But it's not incredibly loud. Like, it seems like these require a lot of power. And my old Astro mix amp just doesn't have the ability to drive these headphones. But I can hear a quality difference in the sounds. This sounds way better. Way better. So again, it is louder. But it's not very loud. And considering I have everything on max, it should be really loud right now. And it just isn't. Okay. That's a good test. The last test we're going to do is apparently not that. Oh, that's great, my Spotify. Okay. All right, well, apparently I can't do my Spotify, which is unfortunate. Because I'm like, I actually have to fix that. So let's see if we can quickly do... this let me see how the music sounds wow the lows are so much better again there is an issue with audio and maybe I just need to like work on my settings a little bit more that's the other thing that might be going on I might need to work on my yeah see right now it sounds great I can do on my computer. This sounds so good. This is such a big difference from anything I've ever listened to. And honestly, the only thing that's missing from it... I, I'm, I'm raising my voice louder. That's a good sign. That the sound is louder. It just sounds so clear. The lows are way better than my Sennheisers can possibly provide. The louds don't... The, the, the highs, rather, not the louds. The highs don't feel like they're breaking your ears. Of course, it's not as loud as it could be. But they're, they're clean, whereas with, the, with those headphones, under the wrong settings, I will literally hurt my ears when the highs come in. But the sound is so clear. It's so clean. Wow, dude. There was a sound that I never heard in this song before, and I, I was able to hear it with these headphones. All right, what I think I need is I need to buy something that'll like strengthen, will, will amplify the volume of these headphones. I don't think this mix amp has the sufficient amount of juice to provide, to be able to create the kind of sound that I require, or I want, really. That said, 
That was amazing. That actually sounded so good. That sounded so good. Okay, 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 okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is, I always run into this issue. Okay, that sounded so freaking good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, just kind of like last thoughts because now the video is definitely getting on the longer side. These were originally $900 headphones when they first came out. I never mentioned how much I paid for them. $200 is what I paid for. So for a lot of you, it's like, oh my God, $200? I can't believe you paid $200. You know, I don't think you understand how much better higher quality headphones and speakers sounds. I just don't think you understand until you try it out. Now, it's possible that maybe you were born genetically without the ear capability, the hearing capability of hearing the difference between higher quality sound devices and lower quality sound devices. I say this because I've noticed some people can't see the difference in like TVs and monitors and displays, whether it's refresh rate or graphics and quality. Like I have people that still tell me that I, I can't see the difference between 4K and 1080p, which is mind blowing to me because that's on the extreme end. But like people that can't see 1440p to 4K, like that's still crazy to me because I could see the difference. I it's it's so easy for me to see. Maybe I'm just lucky. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be grateful that I guess I can see the differences, but I can also hear the difference here. And holy moly, the only thing here that's that's I'm, I have a complaint about is not a literal complaint. It's just they're so good that I need more. Um, it's an out of the box, it's good. But if you don't have something to properly drive the sound, you will not hear how amazing it truly sounds. Now, maybe you have a lower quality heads, headset, like lower quality headphones, and you can hear how clear it sounds out of the box, like I was able to, because I could hear the difference. I could hear it right out of the box. Big difference, but it can't. I, I don't have anything to drive it enough power so that it can actually have a sufficient amount of volume to truly shine as a pair of headphones. Anyway, from what I've been told or what I've heard is, you know, when you're buying a pair of headphones, when you get to $200, you can tell the difference between $200 headphones and anything less than that, let's say like $100 or less. The next big jump is around $500 or more. But once you start getting to like that eight, nine, or like a 900, one, especially the $1,000 territory, yes, because there's there's headphones that cost more than $1,000. There's people that don't realize there's bikes that cost $10,000 and there's a reason why they cost $10,000. They're not a waste of money for the right people. I'm really happy with these. I'm, I love the unboxing. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite unboxing experience, but opening up to this, this I've never, I've never experienced this. This is something I've never experienced. It's kind of like wrapping here. Um, and I expected plastic beneath it and it wasn't, it's foam. I love the color. The color is gorgeous. Look at this color, dude. I like the fact that it's got two different connections for each can. I like the fact that it's a threaded cable. I like the fact that it comes with an adapter. I like the fact that the adapter is the 6.5 millimeter, not the 3.5 millimeter. What I mean by that is that it's both got, sorry about the barking, but it's both a detachable cable and I can plug in straight to my like controller or phone, depending on what phone you have or what adapters you have and stuff like that. It, it's, it's just so friendly for smaller devices in comparison to my significantly more affordable Sennheiser 559s. But I am gonna end the video. I'm gonna say I'm very happy with this so far. We're gonna see what it looks like in the near future. So just hang tight while I figure out what I'm going to do to properly drive these headphones. It's extremely clear. I'm gonna have to keep playing with the settings, but I am gonna head out. In case you don't know, I'm a Twitch streamer and I've been streaming for many years. I did take some breaks, but I've been back very consistently. I stream most nights of the week. It's about four to six times a week, usually five. I usually take two days off. I start off roughly at around 11 p.m. Eastern time. I'm also on TikTok and that's been doing really well for me. So I hope to see you there. Please take your time to like, comment and follow and all that stuff. And I have an Instagram and I upload every Monday through Fridays here on YouTube. So please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me with the algorithm. The more engagement you provide, the better. The more often you guys finish a video or a post, the more these algorithms support me finding more people. Um, so if you really wanna support me for free, let the post finish. Let the YouTube video finish. Like, comment, subscribe, share, save. All this stuff really helps. It literally takes a minute out of your day I'm not saying that you you don't care about me if you don't do this, I'm not saying that. But if you find it within your capabilities and you have a minute or two to spare, 
it really goes a long way. I, I, I just, I cannot express to you, especially on something like TikTok, where I've already hit the algorithm like wave once before, technically two times before. I think I could do it again, but I need engagement to keep that happening. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoy this. If you have any thoughts, concerns, any anything you want to share, please leave it in the comments below. If you guys want me to rate what are the best unboxings I've ever had, or if you want me to try out all of my different headphones and make a video on all of my different headphones and which one sounds better and why and what would I would use it for, etc. I could do that. I have a few headphones around. I have a few, and I've had many more in my, in my past, so... Yeah, that could be a cool video for you guys. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Thank you so much for everything. Always remember to be good, be great, be grand. Goodbye. Later.